Welcome back to Wine and Winds. I'm your host, KP, a marine biologist with over a decade's worth of experience working with marine mammals. Now, there aren't many things that I enjoy more than working with marine mammals, but one of those things might just be sleep. Sleep is a vital function for all of us, not just humans, but animals as well. So today, we're gonna to take a deeper dive into how marine mammals sleep in the cold, wet vastness that is the ocean. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and make sure to head down to the descriptions for ways that you can help support the channel. Sleep is a behavior found throughout the animal kingdom. It's a behavior we use to restore our muscular, nervous, immune, and vascular systems. But in order for these vital systems to regenerate, the rest of our body must slow down. This reduces our alertness and inhibits voluntary muscle activity. So one thing all animals need in order to sleep, safety. Take sea otters for example. It's easy to look at that paw holding behavior that sea otters do and marvel at how cute it is. But the truth is it provides safety in numbers and protection from ocean currents. That's also why it most often occurs between mums and pups. Holding paws prevents the pups from drifting away from their mothers while sleeping. But solitary otters will also do the same thing. They will wrap a piece of kelp around their paw, hold on to something that is anchored to the sea floor so that they don't drift away from their feeding ground while sleeping. Sea otters are perhaps the cutest example, but many ocean creatures have developed unique adaptations for sleep. Sea lions, for example, will haul out sometimes in large numbers on rocky outcrops to make sure that they are safe from things like killer whales or sharks while they sleep. Seals will sometimes do this as well, sleeping in a position known as the banana. But seals can also sleep at the bottom of the ocean. Taking advantage of their dappled coloration allows them to blend in perfectly with the sea floor. They'll sleep there for even around 30 minutes until their bodies know they need some air rise up to the surface, take a breath, and head back down to go back to sleep. And sometimes they can even surface without actually consciously waking up. In polar regions, ice seals will haul out on ice floes, just like their cousins, the walrus. sometimes walruses will gather in the thousands in giant stinky slumber parties where they can sleep for days at a time. I have personally seen a walrus that I know sleep for three days straight. Now all of this still seems pretty standard, but have you ever wondered how a whale, a dolphin, or a porpoise sleeps? In most animals like humans or sea otters, breathing is an involuntary action. We don't actually have to think about it as it's happening, but that's not the case with dolphins, whales, and porpoises. They are what's known as conscious breathers, meaning that every single breath takes a voluntary action from the animal. Now this is a great adaptation if you live in the water and need to make sure that you're holding your breath but it makes sleeping very difficult. I mentioned that nearly all voluntary muscle activity is inhibited while you sleep. So how have cetaceans managed it? Surely they can't haul out on land and floating still in the ocean for any period of time is just an invitation to predators. The secret is all in their brain. If you look at the mammalian brain, you will notice a gap between the two hemispheres. This is known as the corpus callosum. Now look at a dolphin's brain. You should notice that that gap is quite a bit larger. This gap is part of what allows whales and dolphins 
to sleep half of their brains at a time. It's called unihemispheric slow wave sleep. And while one side of their brain sleeps, the other half handles basic functions like swimming and breathing. The rest of their body will still function normally with decreased brain activity. This means that it can be almost impossible to tell the difference between an awake dolphin and a sleeping dolphin. But this begs the question, do whales and dolphins dream? Tell me what you think in the comments down below, and we'll be addressing that in a future video. But for now, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell button so you'll be notified when our next video goes live.